Good morning guys, it's Nadine um, and I'm videoing in between radio shows. So I wanted to share with you all this little nifty idea that I have um, and I found it by completely accident. All the crap I come across with my little nifty ideas, I, I totally, it's formed out of necessity. Anyway, I wanted to share with you guys. So I am a huge like home binder organization person. <clears throat> and I had another setup and I will put the video for the, uh, the link for that video in the description box below but recently I have found this book um, it's a 2012 deluxe planner and I actually got it from Barnes and Noble and it I really really love it I put this in my actual home binder but it's a little bit more practical for me to carry around than the humongous binder that I had um, so anyway let me just share with you guys really quickly so <clears throat> this is what it looks like and in it I actually have um, some of these Martha Stewart thingy label thingies that I use. Oh, dang, I found a gift card. <gasps> what? I love it when I find that kind of stuff. Let me put this on the side so that I don't forget that I have a gift card. Okay, so anyhow, in this thing, it actually has um, a... Hold on a second, let me move something on the side. <clears throat> a uh, complete month overview of the whole month which I love and what I love about this one especially is because the blocks are bigger um, which makes writing and uh, writing and reading easier for me okay because I'm getting old and I need glasses and uh yeah <laughs> and then um, after each month after each month in view we have a week in view which I really love this too because the lines are bigger it allows me to write a lot um, it has a to-do list on the side which I don't use and I'll show you guys how I set mine up um let me give you let me see hold on let me get to a page that doesn't have so much personal stuff on it <clears throat> okay so here we go like for instance this is october so this is going to be next week and this is just one side so <clears throat> half of the week is on this side monday through wednesday the other half is on this side okay thursday through sunday now what i do is i take a um a ruler and i just make a little a little column for myself because i'm the kind of girl that likes to check shit off because <laughs> i feel like i'm being productive um so that's what i do okay um but let me show you one thing about this thing that i figured out so it is a spiral bound notebook okay um and i love it because i also am a one of these um girls that love these pens and pencils that have these little things on them and what i do is i just tuck them in here which keeps my pencil completely handy. Um, I use a pencil for this, but I also use um, different color um, pens. And let me grab my pens. Hold on a second. Let me, I will be right back. Let me get the pens. Okay, I'm back. That is me being unorganized. Anyway, these are my pens that I use and I just have them in this little container. And the ones that I use specifically for this are actually highlighters. Here's my little ruler that I use. And then I love these stinking um, Mr. Sketch scented pens. So like I have, like this is my extra one for down here in my craft room. But um, I love these things. I don't know what it is. I think it's the smelly thing and I think it's the nostalgia that takes me back to when I was in grade school and used to use these. Oh my God, yeah. So this is what I use and every single color um, corresponds to a member in our family individually. And then I have one that's all together and I have the green like it's for bills, which means I gotta pay some crap that I don't wanna pay. <laughs> You know how it goes, ladies. Anyway, so um, I wanted to show you guys something. So, you know, I like to keep a lot of the stuff that's going on in one spot instead of having to, like, look all over for papers and whatnot. And let me give you an example. So next week, the week of October 8th through the 14th, my kids or my daughter has this thing called this booster fun run. So I got this paper in the in her folder and um, I wanted, I needed, I need to remember what's going on this week. So it's a whole week of uh, events that's going on. And basically this booster thon fun run thing is me donating money to my kids' school for their school. And uh, basically I feel like I am paying them to have my kids run around this itty bitty track uh, to raise money. Which sounds ridiculous, but um, okay, whatever. <laughs> but I would rather... I guess do this then have to buy some cookies that I hate or wrapping paper that I will never use <laughs> so anyhow this is the flyer that came in her folder and I want to put this in here and so I was like how can I put this in here without having like uh, lots of paper clips or stapling it or whatever then I came up with this freaking awesome idea okay so I have my Zutter um, 
<clears throat> my zutter what do you call it bind it off um and i've had this for quite some time and i was like you know what it is the same concept of this um spiral notebook okay so what i'm gonna show you guys is how i actually attach um this and you know what you don't even have to watch this if you guys know how to um how to work your zutter or whatever but basically um let's see let's see let's see let's see i'm gonna just run this through this thing and then i'm going to attach it into um my little book so i have the little knob thingy over here see this um this allows you to figure out where you want your pages to be so a line is going to be open, B is going to be continuous, C is going to be cover, and D is going to be inner pages. And I want it to be continuous, so I'm going to um, position that to B. Then I'm going to put this in here, and I'm going to line it up so that it's just so. Hold on, let me do it this way so that I can work better. So I'm going to put this in here, and then I'm going to just kind of... I should open the feet so it doesn't okay then i'm going to put it in here again and i'm going to line it up with the little guide that's um there's a little guide here if you guys don't know oh god cannot really see i'm sorry wait let me see if i can turn on the light come on ot okay there we go i don't know if you all can see this oh yuck but there's a little peg right here and that little peg allows you to um, when you've already made your punches, it uses you can use it now as a guide. So I put my paper in the little peg. See that? Now you can see the peg. And that's my guide for where I want everything else to line up from this point on. So I'm going to put the paper in again, and I'm going to punch the holes. And I'm going to use the guide again. And I'm going to keep doing this until it punches the entire paper. And I am almost done. Oopsies. So there we go. Oh, it's a little bit jacked, but that's okay. Um, because I'm going to throw this paper out anyway. It's not like I'm keeping this for longevity. So then I have this, right? And I'm going to put it in my book. But then you're like, what the hell? How are you going to put it in your book? Because all of these things are closed. Well, the quick fix for that is to, in fact, just make a little slice. Um, in between the things so you see that oh see this this is my favorite scissors um it's one of these fisker scissors and actually i bought it for quilting and figured out that it actually fussy cuts and everything really good and it's really sharp so what i do is i just go in and i cut every single one of these um areas right here and then hold on this is taking a little longer than i like so here we go. One, two, three. Oopsies, what is that alarm? That's my alarm. Sorry, hold on. <clears throat> oh, I know what. That means I need to get on air in like 30 minutes. Um, okay, so anyhow, I cut all the little things. So now there's like little openings to them. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to open up my book again. And I'm going to put it in here. And all you do is you just push it right through. As you can see, I'm just pushing it right through the spiral, um, whatchamacallit, thingamajiggies. And you have it so that it's actually now in your little binder thingy. And it stays securely. And ta-da! There you have it. Um, so yeah, I just wanted to share this little practical thing for all of you who, all of you moms out there. Um, you know, if you have one of these planners or you're like a fanatic like me and needs to be organized or else you're going to forget stuff. Um, I thought this was a really cool thing and I just wanted to share it with you all. So I hope that this was helpful to somebody. I appreciate you guys watching. Um, if you have any questions or want to comment, feel free to do so below. And I will put my link for my... Um, what you might call it uh i'm at a loss for words this morning um my other home binder uh, i'll put the the link in the description box for the one that i use and i'll do an updated one shortly too um so i will i gotta get on air guys i appreciate you guys watching have a great day talk to you guys later bye oh wait you know what i'll be back with uh, some other videos on dropbox and some other project life um iphone apps tutorials
tutorials. All right, talk to you guys later. Bye.